The job of the arts pastor is not only to be a great artist, but to unleash the artist residing within the local congregation. The job of the arts pastor is to unleash the talent sitting in the pews, to invite people to paint, to draw, to sing, to dance, to improvise. It is to give the saints a chance to sing their song, to tell their story, to write their play. The job of the arts pastor, the worship pastor, is to sing the song of their congregation in the local community. It is to make the documentary about the person who is making a difference in their local community, in their workplace, in their school. It is to make the short film that in three minutes tells everybody how life following Christ is lived out right here, right now. It is to take a big story, a person's life story, and encapsulate it in an artistic way that says this is beauty, this is discipleship, this is following Jesus in the 21st century. Psalm 19 says the uh, skies proclaim the works of God's hands. The uh, heavens above are a testimony in and of themselves. So how do we sing that song? How do we become that testimony? How do we become that artistic witness to the local community? By setting people free, by letting the saints sing their song. Sing it, sing it, sing your song. Does the soil of the local community in general, North America, does the church set the artist free? Hmm. The church is full of raging bulls eager to tell their story and to sing their song. The church used to be the patron of the arts. The church used to be the place where risk happened. The church used to be the place where new artistic techniques were discovered. The church used to be the only people in town who would pay for art. We got to reclaim it. We got to become that patron once again. The one place where music is taught, the one place where painting is taught, the place where things are practiced, where new dramas are unfurled, where films debut, the church must become the patron of the arts once again. What do you mean once again? For more than a thousand years, the church was the primary locus of the arts. If you wanted to hear live music, where did you go? To the church. If you wanted to see beautiful paintings, where did you go? To the church. If you wanted to see what dance and movement and drama was all about, you had to go into the church. We let the arts go. And guess where the art went? Outside the church. Can the church once again become the place, the locus of live music? Can the church once again become the place where beauty resides? Can the church become the place where stained glass windows, where frescoes, where videos sing God's song? Can the church reclaim its mission to bring forth beauty, to reflect the glory of their creator? Can they? The most beautiful sight of all time, Jesus. Surely we, as followers of Jesus, can learn to re understand and recognize beauty wherever it may be among us. We should be the most sensitive. We should be the most clear. We should be the most uh, glorious recognition of wonder and splendor and beauty wherever, whenever, and however God may choose to reveal it. The 21st century is a visual century. Can we create new images of God? Can we create new metaphors for God? Can we create moments of truth and beauty and splendor that pause, that cause us? Can we create moments of beauty, truth, and splendor that cause us to pause? 
Come on. Paint it. Sing it. Draw it. Dramatize it. Film it. Edit it. Come on. Come on. <laughs>